so when i did get this one of 350 uploads you know you guys creating content is very hard and a lot of people don't appreciate this but here we go here we go again trying hard but you want to be my friend ain't no place to hide ain't no one to run to here we go here we go again call my bluff i'ma be your to the end i'm the one you ride i'm the one you ride to Hi honeys, how are you? Tanya Nishailok here and of course welcome back to my YouTube channel What's popping? What's well? And of course all that particular kind of good stuff over there So if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back into the next video and thank you for clicking If this is your first time watching my video over here, hi there, I'm Tanya Nishailok I do a lot of beautiful, wonderful, educational and of course uplifting kind of videos for only you and if you're a returning subscriber who have not yet subscribed, I'll again sing this again. Please do smash the subscribe button. We are about to be hitting a new goal. Let's reach this together. Of course, if you are watching my face for the first time, also please comment in, uh, in the comment section below, hashtag new. Follow me on all my social media platforms. I'm going to be leaving everything on the screen and throughout the video. So probably by now you have seen the thumbnail, the title of the video. Today I'm having for you a room, not a room, but of course a space, a makeup space tour, something like that. I've planned on doing this video for a very long time, but uh, today is the final day, darling. Recently, you guys, I did a lot of DIY projects, but the main aim of the, the DIY projects, first of all, it was to a little bit uh, maybe inspire you and of course motivate you so that you can uh, go out of your comfort zone then do something for yourself and also it was also for my own kind of benefit i wanted literally to design this place so first of all i have this beautiful amazing portrait i have in my background they remind me a lot of things but they are also some of the things that define me and uh, remind me of my journey where i have come from on this journey of youtube and all that other stuff so First picture up here, I'm having myself. Uh, this is one of the pictures that do remind me a lot about uh, my social media kind of journey. I had my good friend known as Kabaka. He did introduce me to, fa uh, to Facebook. And uh, being the bougie person I am, I said to myself, uh, I want to go to the professional cameraman, take my pictures, I post them on my Facebook. This was back then, I think in 2009, I think 2009 or 2008, and I initially put this here to remind me where I have come from uh, as a social media influencer, and of course, uh, loving to be on uh, social media. The second image in particular, it is, uh, this cardboard i think you did see me of course painting its boundaries and all that uh, it has some of the important pictures of my life i think if you look critical onto it you'll see the first image uh, this is me with my sister over here uh, it, and of course you remember those photos of those times they used to have all the different days it was in 2011 um the fourth month of the year and it was 16th we had gone to the swimming pool somewhere in i think Munyonyo or something like that and uh this next image over here this was a coca-cola kind of uh, festival that came to my school kajans progressive senior secondary school by then and um we did have a lot of fun it also reminds me a lot of memories with people who i love it brings me to the second, not the second, I think the third kind of portrait that I do love very much. It is uh, this amazing achievement, uh, achievement kind of certificate I got from uh, Tube Buddy over here. I did pin up this because I thought that it was important for me to remind me where I've come from, especially on this journey of YouTube. I recently wanted to frame the one with one my 1000 subscriber mark, but I would not get the opportunity to get that one in particular. So when I did get this one of 350 uploads, you know you guys, creating content is very hard and a lot of people don't appreciate this, but it's one of the hardest thing ever found in this community of YouTube. I love it, but it needs a lot of hard work. That's a tip for you as starter one. So um, whenever I look at 350 uploads on YouTube, I just remember, remember it just like a journey, you know, 
I have been here, I have created a lot of content, a lot of content has gone out there, a lot of content has been appreciated, a lot of it have not been appreciated, but this reminds me that uh, the sky is the limit, you can create even more content, you can reach the sky, and I love it so, 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 so freaking much that I did paint it to remind me my journey. So we shall be placing uh, this one back in particular, I want also to talk about my mirror, I think this is not a... Uh, kind of uh, joke to a lot of you guys when i did paint this uh, mirror i think i did uh, talk about it so the day i brought this mirror you guys it was i brought it from a person you know these guys who do work selling different products i did buy it from such a guy at seven thousand ugandan shillings and uh the reason why i raised it this high it creates a very very comfy and of course uh flamboyant kind of peaceful kind of nature which i love about interior deco as i told you i'm not an, an interior designer but i just love of course looking bougie but on a budget you know the last but not the least i want also to talk about a very very important uh kind of uh, portrait on my wall this was my success card i recently talked about this you guys uh, in my video where I was DIYing all these particular kind of things, putting all the different frames that I loved It was given to me by my mom and my dad. I love those two people very very much They have supported me throughout all this journey. You can't believe it I'm very very happy to have such supportive parents and uh, I wouldn't ask for more. That was just it by the way Most my dad doesn't watch my vlogs, but my mom does so mom if you're watching this I love you so much. Thank you for the support and uh, This was my card at senior four uh, meaning high school end of high school uh congratulations me to have accomplished the examination and examinations and it did come with a prize of twenty thousand ugandan shillings by then it was a lot of money i think i think it's around five dollars if i'm not mistaken and around four euros something like that for those subscribers of mine out of the country so officially you guys the last thing i want to talk about uh, with you is this amira uh, i did buy this also from a very near kind of supermarket around my place i did buy it when i was starting out in makeup and of course you guys when you look at this wall it defines me i love mirrors i love achievements i love remembering where i come from and of course all that so i did hang up this here to remind me my makeup journey where i've come from also to this particular kind of moment in time it brings me to the second kind of section of my beauty space kind of tour so behind me, I have this amazing kind of storage space, but most of the products I use on a day-to-day -day kind of basis, they are right here in this storage space. And most of other makeup products are in the next room, which is my closet. If you have not watched any sneak peeks of my closet, I'm going to be leaving a lot of videos in the description box and at the card up here right now. Behind me in the first kind of shelf, I have mostly products. Uh, which I use on my hair. I don't have a lot of hair, but I always love to, uh, to keep my short hair very, very nice, shiny, on point, and of course with the best products I can uh, ever find on market. In this next shelf, I have my mostly used moisturizers, primers, lipstick, lotions, and of course all that. And uh, I love a very nice foundation when, when I'm going to be sit, uh, doing a sit down video and this is my old time kind of foundation. So that one, of course, it has to be kept here. My all day kind of uh, primers, they are also here. Uh, my moisturizers, lippies, a small notebook. I know I always keep this notebook here, but I just feel like whenever I need a product that I that has run out of my reach, I love to write it within this I mini mean, kind of uh, notebook at the top of all this particular kind of shelving i have uh my amazing 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 kind of jungle yes up here i know you guys uh i'm not a plant lover i was not a plant lover i would say that but uh being on pinterest for so long and learning uh learning a lot of things about interior deco and understanding the meaning of a lot of things for example green meaning life and peace and i'm a person who loves peace who loves love in general and of course all that i said it why not start putting a little bit of uh, indoor plants in my room so i'm having one of them over here and one of uh, another one 
Zungu. And another one in my next uh, my next room, which happens to be my closet, I also have one plant over there. Then also some artificial flowers over here. I started using artificial flowers, I think, by then when I was doing a lot of uh, sit down videos, which I also still do. But rarely, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think of uh, my vlogs and my sit down videos. If possible, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make it a point that you smash the subscribe button. A new goal is about to be reached. Please do subscribe the subscribe button because you know what, 2020 is hot and I can't wait to share with you all the beautiful and amazing achievements. So the next thing that of course I'm going to be showing you is my makeup tables over there if you'll be able to spot them. Yes, over there right now. Me, as you see, I'm having my mini kind of uh, makeup tables. I did paint this on a DIY project I recently did. If you have not watched those, I'm gonna be leaving uh, everything in the description box below and hopefully at the card up here right now, maybe after this video, you go watch that. But I did paint these tables myself with my sister. They are push-in tables. Like uh, one of them can go behind, then the other one can go in front, such as this. So if one of which go in front like this, and also this comes at least somewhere to this position, meaning that when I'm doing all the makeup kind of transformations or sit down kind of videos, um, let me just push this in front something like that and hopefully that i'm having my kind of uh seat over here i can literally do play with this space and also this space at the same time so that was the art you know of making this i wanted something that you can pull out and at the same time pull in so that you can create a little bit more space and uh, all that well, at the table right here on the black table i'm having my amazing ring lights i did purchase these ring lights uh, i think on jumia.com and uh, the delivery was not so good. I think it lasted for something like a month, I would lie you. But they finally did come. And also the tripod, I also did order it on jumia.com. Other things that of course I have on, on top of this table, I have my brushes. Yes, I'm having my brushes. These are not more, most of them, but uh, some of them are in the next room. The next room I have prepared there a draw where I always put my other beauty products that are not in use right now. I think we have taken something like two weeks without doing makeup transformations, but those ones are coming back on board very, very, very soon. So I'm always having these two kind of things with my beauty, my, my brushes. Then also a mug with my pens, pencils, and of course all that stationary kind of things. So literally you guys, I want to show you this place, how it always looks like when I'm about to be filming. I'm always having my touring lights over here, up uh, here and there. And then my model over down there then this these are the different brushes yes it's not a very crazy kind of setup but it is as simple as that and it's also in uh, our bedroom so uh i always also have a computer here to act as my power supply for my two ring lights because it uses these particular kind of cords let me just show you so they it uses these particular kind of cords which are uh, they can do enter into the sides of the usb cable just like that so you just switch on here like this and boom the light will come just like that as simple as come to the conclusion of the video i don't know if this video you really did enjoy it it had a lot of jumpy jumpy kind of uh footage but i hope you did if you did make sure that you like the video comment subscribe like share out the video and uh let me meet you again in my next video bye for now